Okay, so this is uh, what I've been working on since the last, well, since I stopped the Call of the Wild videos. And I'll just run it real quick. What happens is I have this character set up on a script that will orig originally will go to this node marked by the X. And then it will randomly pick a node from here to here. And that one went up there because it, the other node is going to be mouse click right there. It was a real pain to get this all working. And so he's going down there and he's going back there. I'll just go see if I can block his path. Yeah, because obviously avoidance isn't working on the nav agent 2ds now he's picking this node here he's completed it he's going back down there the reason i've been trying to make this work is because i wanted to change the interface to click and move for the player but i also wanted the towns to send out their own uh scouts and uh war parties and junk to other towns Plus, I wanted traffic on these roads. Th now that I can do this, the only limitation I have is I have to have an individual separate script for every entity. And that's my main problem with Godot now. You duplicate something with a script on it, it uses the same script. You instance it, it uses the same script. There is, it, it's annoying. So I basically, I have to make as many scripts as I have towns twice, bare minimum twice. So I could have two separate vehicle, two separate vehicles per town on the map at a time. Okay, so the way this works is we have collision. This is in Godot 4.1 release candidate. It will not work in 3.5 because I'm using the tile map stuff from Godot 4. Everything that is not, these are all navigation polygons here. Or not polygons, sorry. These are navigation tiles. Everything else is a collision tile. So if we go down here, I always get tile maps and stuff confused. Okay, so we're in tile. Um, it has a physics layer, and that's the collision layer, which is collision layer one. It also has a navigation layer. So on the tile, if we go to paint, and we'll select uh, physics, that's our uh, collision. These four tiles all have collision. Originally, I only did it to base tile, but it wasn't working, so I just did all these in, these two. I don't think that had anything to do with it. Uh, because you notice I don't have the same thing set up on water here. Well, water doesn't show the thing anyways. Um, and then towns don't have them. Towns and roads don't have the collision. They have navigation layers. So if we go into the editor, uh, debugger, We'll show visible collision, and I'll, we already saw this right here is visible navigation, this blue. We'll turn that off, and we'll run this again. Whoa, I still got visible blue. Uh, oh, visible paths. Maybe that's it. Nope, that's not it. I don't want that stuff showing. <laughs> Probably did something here. Navigation, visibility mode, default. There we go. Collision, default. That's better. So, this gives you a better overview. These, these lines are debug lines and they're custom sized uh, in the inspector. But everything around here is collision. And then everything that's not collision is passable. 
and this so the navigation agent 2d uses uh, the tiles for navigation data and each of these um, you're the one that's just Roman let's look at you uh, oh, speed 400 let's go for speed 700 and see how borked we can make this no nope, no nope, you're still going I'm not sure how well you'll interact with this oh yeah you just want to touch it I had to make the collision shape on each of these super super tiny or they would hit each other and get stuck I wonder if I can still get it stuck by like getting here nope it was, it was small enough it was uh, able to move around it maybe that's the avoidance working I don't know I have avoidance on for both of these now the one issue I have is I'm gonna click on this tile and it actually goes down one tile that I'm pretty sure I can fix by using half tile and twists and stuff like that but this is the stuff I've been working on for weeks now everybody have a great day